There may still be snow in the ground, Brian, but spring is just around the corner. It's a great time to get your gas-powered mower out and get it ready for the mowing season. Hi, right, we're the handy guys, and we're going to talk about getting these mowers ready, but the first thing you need to do, Paul, is read your owner's manual. It's going to have all of the recommended maintenance and the schedules for that maintenance, but essentially any of these mowers needs three things to get them running. It needs fuel, it needs spark, and it needs air. Yeah, as far as fuel goes, hopefully you ran it dry the previous season or you're using fuel stabilizer so that you have fresh fuel in the mower and it starts up for the season. And then check your spark plug. If it's rusted, if it's corroded, if it looks burnt, go ahead and replace that and then also check your air filter. If it's damaged, replace it. If it's dirty, you can try to clean it or go ahead and replace it. Now, I know there's some other in, uh, items on these mowers that require maintenance, and we should also take a look at those as well before we get these out on the turf. Brian, one of the first things I like to take care of is the wheels or the tires. In this case, on the riding mower, I have inflatable tires. You wanna make sure you have the right amount of air pressure. If your tires are uneven or underinflated, you're not gonna get an even cut. So make sure they're properly inflated. And on your push mower, just make sure you don't have any cracks or broken wheels and you're good to go. Yeah, you can order new wheels if something's wrong with them. But also, Brian, you wanna make sure you have good sharp blades to start out the season. And I like to take mine into the local mowing store and they will sharpen them for me. Right, and again, a sharp blade is going to make for a nice clean cut and a healthy lawn. What about oil, Brian? I know these often need to have their oil replaced on at various intervals. Right, check your manual for how often you need to change it. On something like this, you're going to also have an oil filter that gets changed at the same time. Your push mower, you're just going to have oil. You're not going to have a filter to worry about, but change that oil on the recommended interval. Yeah, and they also have dipsticks to make sure you have the right oil level in it. And I know uh, on this riding mower, Brian, also you have uh, belts to take care of. You have a number of different belts. You have belts to make it go. You have belts to make the blades turn, and those can wear out and may need to be changed. Now, Brian, one of the other things I like to take care of is to clean the mower before I get it out. Now, ideally, you would have done that before you put it in for the season, but there's still a lot of grass on this. You want to clean off the decking. Uh, you want to check the paint around the mower, make sure you don't have any areas of rust. Uh, but also, uh, like on this deck, in a lot of mowers, you have a hose port so that you can connect a hose and clean the under decking as well. Right, keeping it clean, touching up the paint, that'll help it last longer. So there you have it, Brian. So these are some of the maintenance items you ought to take care of before you get out onto the turf. All right. Well, thanks for watching The Handy Guys. Thank you.